Tracking a pretty quiet afternoon across parts of mid-Missouri. Had a few storms uh, in eastern portions of the area uh, earlier on this morning. Those have kind of subsided, and you can see for the most part, many of us are going to be dealing with skies like this. Looking pretty good, folks, getting out on the water, getting the holiday weekend started nice and early. Temperatures right around 86 degrees. And again, this is where most of us are at here as we're headed into this afternoon. We'll see temperatures uh, likely falling into the uh, mid 80s here as we're headed into the rest of this evening. If you do get under a quick thunder shower or two, you may see that temperature uh, drop off about 10 or so degrees, but most of us will be in the mid 80s as we're headed into the rest of this evening. Here's a look at future track. Wanted to show you this here. Uh, as we head into 5 o'clock, Salute to America going on down in Jefferson City. Could see a couple spot storms pop up near Cole County. So be aware here between about 2 and 7 o'clock, uh, especially if you're going to be headed to uh, something like Salute to America over the next couple of hours, you may run into a storm or two. You can see that storm makes its way into western portions of mid-Missouri as we head into 9 and 10 o'clock. Uh, but again, most of us throughout much of this evening are going to be staying dry. Could run into a spot shower or two into tomorrow morning, but we look to dry out into the afternoon hours as drier air looks to push into the region, bumping down that humidity just a little bit as we're headed into our Saturday. 70 does it for an overnight low tonight. Looking out for a stray storm. Uh, certainly not out of the question. And then into our 4th of July holiday, we're into the mid to upper 80s, holding on to partly cloudy skies as we're headed into much of the day. And this is the time of year when the meteorologists kind of stick their feet up and say 90 every day, 30% chance of storms. And that's pretty much what we're going to be dealing with here as we're headed into the next several days. Really not too, too much to complain about at this point in time. And the temperature tracker, which takes us beyond our seven day forecast. So this is probably what we're going to be looking at for the next 10 to maybe even 14 days. Uh, two or so weeks going to be seeing above average temperatures across a good portion of mid-Missouri. And we can show you that here with Future Track. It does a pretty good job at showing us how we're going to be warming into this weekend and then especially warming up as we head into next week. We're into the low and maybe even some mid-90s as we're headed into Tuesday, Wednesday, and especially Thursday of next week. But what has my interest and what is giving us this inclination that we could be dealing with even warmer temperatures by the end of next week, check out how this heat really begins to build across central portions of Kansas. This is likely going to be spreading its way eastbound, and you can already start to see the effects, the mid to upper 90s potentially, as we're headed into the end of next week. So we really haven't had any sort of potentially dangerous summer heat, but that has the signals of potentially uh, giving us uh, heat index values above maybe 105. Could be talking about some heat advisories into the end of next week, but at this point in time, uh, there's still quite a bit of uh, leeway and how much time we really have in between now and then. Let's just get through the next couple of days and enjoy the holiday weekend ahead.